Hey there, SketchUp friends. I have been teaching you about My.SketchUp, and it just dawned on me that they changed the name of it to SketchUp Free. I'm going to launch SketchUp Free, and I'm going to start modeling. And I am in the mood to create a sweet castle. The first thing I want to do, though, is switch my models to a template of millimeters. I like working with millimeters a lot more than I like working with the feet and inches. Once in, I'm going to delete the gentleman, I'm going to click the untitled, and I'm going to name it Castle, and put it in my SketchUp folder. Uh, I've made a couple of these, so I'm going to call this one Castle 3, and then save it. SketchUp is a click and release program, so I'm going to click the rectangle tool, and I'm going to click the rectangle tool again. I'm going to go to the origin. And when I click it, notice it draws out into space, and I want it to draw about center so that I'm making a square shape in the middle for my castle. As you stretch your lines out, there will be a spot where it tells you that you are creating a square. When you've got a square shape, just simply select it, and that will be the basis of your castle. I want to add cool towers to my castle so let's go to the rectangle tool and then select the circle and then when we click let's make a circle out into space and if you look down at the number on the side when you're happy with the radius click and make it permanent it'll be different for each of us because our circles are just for fun but notice my first one was 300 so the next time I make a circle I just stretch it out crazy wide type 300 on the keyboard and it makes an exact replica do that again, click and then type 300, click and then type 300, and now my castle is starting to take shape. Switch to the eraser tool and get rid of all of those little lines uh, that are separating the pieces from each other. If you make a mistake, just do control Z to undo. And now that we've got our castle shape, let's use the super cool offset tool to cut it out click on the inside and then just stretch it until they all connect for the size walls that you want click the select tool click the middle and press delete and you have cut out the walls of your castle let's lift our walls up by switching to the push pull tool and lift your walls to whatever height makes you happy Let's do something crazy with our walls. While you're still in push-pull mode, start to lift again, but tap control so that it does a second set of walls. So you can see it split. Switch to your select tool and double click that top wall so that it's all selected. And then find the scale tool. When you click the handle, I want it to go about center, so I'm going to hold control. And I'm going to stretch out a crazy angled wall that castles probably couldn't have back then, but I bet you if they could have, they would have loved it for how it kept people off the castle using ladders. And it's just a fun tool to play with. Let's add a door to our amazing castle with the rectangle tool. I'm going to go to the midpoint of any wall, and then I'm going to tap control so it goes about the center, so that my door has the shape I want. Notice there's a chunk underneath that I don't want. If we simply grab it from the right to the left, it all becomes selected, and you can hit delete to get rid of that. And then I want to do an arch on top of it, so I'm going to click the arc tool and switch to the two-point arc so I can click the left edge the right edge and lift up so that it's on that blue face till I'm happy erase the middle piece and then from the underneath I'm gonna push this wall so that it touches this corner this is called inferring and it's really cool because I could just go straight back but if I come to this end point it automatically snaps it off and deletes that the way I want Let's cut out some windows on our castle with the rectangle tool. Move to the side of the castle you want to cut out. I can't do the round ones. I'm going to just do the flat ones. Click and draw the rectangle for the size you want. Double click it to select it all. 
switch to the move tool click the corner and then when you move tap control so it switches to copy mode click to set it down and then type the divided by key and pick how many windows you want I want four windows so I'm gonna put divided by four notice it shows up down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and when you press enter it squeezes in those windows so that they are just the way you want them. From the underneath, click the push pull tool and pull your windows back in. Notice I'm always touching to a corner so that way it pulls it all the way through because otherwise I could go uh, somewhere wackadoodle and mess it up. You can complete that process all the way around your castle, making it awesome and unique. I want to also add some little defenses up on the top, so I'm going to use the line tool. And I'm going to go from segment to segment or endpoint to endpoint. If I do push pull, I can raise them up, get them so that I'm happy. And then I want an area for people to be able to walk around, so I'm going to take that line tool again. And I'm just going to find the midpoint of these and cut them across. I like that because it's a better trapezoid shape. Once you've got that the way you want, you can push pull it down. And then you can use erase to get rid of those little lines as you make your castle as cool as you want. You could even reuse that scale trick that we used earlier to give these shapes some slope. By double clicking, they get selected, find your scale tool, and once again, if you hit control, it makes them so that they slope in and just look totally epic. When you've got your castle all the way you want, it is time for you to go to materials. When you are in materials, if you look closely, under the browse tool there are amazing things like brick and cladding and you can even find some castle shape or some castle texture to paint your entire castle with if you triple click the castle it'll select everything and then you can paint it in one step super fun super fast I hope you've enjoyed all the cool skills that you've learned Make sure that you click save so that you don't lose it. Uh, if you make an awesome castle and want to share what you created with me, I'd love to see notes about it on this YouTube channel. Uh, make sure if you like the movie, please click the little like button. If you want to subscribe, you know how that subscribe button works. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, click the notification bell. Thanks for watching, friends, and whatever you do, keep sketching.